Are you building a house like this? What questions does my HVAC contractor have for me? If you're building a house, what questions should your HVAC contractor have for you? How do you lay out the ductwork in a barn dominium? What type of system should you choose? What options are there? And what questions should your HVAC contractor have for you so that you can have the best possible layout and HVAC choice for your barn dominium or your house that you're building? You're watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing before we get started. And let's go ahead and dive into the questions that your contractor should have for you. First question should be, what insulation are you going with? Are you doing standard insulation like R19 in the walls and R30 or R60 in the ceiling? Or are you gonna go with foam insulation? If you don't know what the difference is, I've got a video, I'll drop that in the link in the description about the difference between foam and standard insulation. Where do you want to put the equipment? Did you put a place in your building plans for the equipment? Do you have a mechanical room where you're going to have the hot water heater and the electrical panel and the HVAC? Or are you open to discussion on where that equipment should be placed? And if so, then what options would I give you for placement of equipment? When we talk about placement of the air conditioning system in the home, we want to think about a few things. First, we want to think about the ductwork. We've got to have a return, and that return is where we're going to change our filter. We don't want to have that return up high, but sometimes we put it up high. But for me, I want to have it down low so that we can actually change the filter and get to it without having to have a ladder. Is it going to be gas or electric? Is it going to have a gas line? If it's going to have a gas line, then are we doing the gas line work, or do you have somebody that's going to be doing that gas line work and if so are they going to do the gas line to everything else like a gas stove a gas dryer gas hot water heater for this barn dominium we had a couple choices one was to put the gas furnace up above this master bathroom here or we could put it in this closet and we chose to put it in this closet here and the supply duct is going to go straight up and we're going to have four vents over here on this side two for the master bedroom one for the master bathroom and one for the master closet and then the supply is going to go up and then it's going to go up above this vaulted ceiling all the way across we're going to have four sizes of duck because we want to size down every 30 percent that way we have plenty of airflow there's going to be 16 vents total it's going to be a four ton unit this is around 3,000 square foot but it's going to be foamed we're gonna put our return right here. See where it says return? It's gonna probably be a 24 by 36 or a 30 by 30 return. It's gonna be down low. That way we can get to our filter. But we had the choice to put it up above the bedroom, but it's gonna be way more serviceable right here. So I'm pretty excited that we've got a nice, good area for our furnace to be, which is not gonna take up a lot of space. This closet's gonna be quite huge. So split system. Furnace right here, coil on top, ductwork goes up all the way across. And this is the way we're gonna lay this out. And then our line sets are gonna go up, which is the copper that uh, joins the outdoor and the indoor unit. And the copper is probably gonna go somewhere here in the middle, uh, right here in this joist and then go out. And then our condenser will set out here somewhere. So you won't be able to see it even when you're driving up to the house. So that's nice. So split system, one part inside, one part outside. We would not want to do a package unit, which would be all outside and duck up. We wouldn't want to waste all that duck work. We wouldn't want to cut a hole uh, up there in the side of this house. And it just would not be pretty, especially when you'd have to look at it if you're ever out there on this side of the house. So package unit was a no-no for sure. But what options do we have? I mean, there's lots of options. We could do a package unit. We could do a split system. We could do mini splits. We could do probably five or six wall mount units on one outside condenser and do a heat pump mini split, but the customer likes the gas. So we're gonna go with natural gas. I never recommend propane because propane is just, it's just so expensive, especially during the winter. There can be price gouging. There can be unavailability. It takes forever for them to get out to fill the propane tank up. And you save a lot of money 
with natural gas compared to propane because once your propane tank is empty then you have to get it refilled with natural gas you have a meter uh, but anytime you go with gas make sure you go with the most efficient furnace get a two-stage furnace that way it burns at a lower pressure most of the time and doesn't burn as much fuel and make sure that you get a 90 percent uh, furnace instead of an 80 that way it burns 90 percent of the fuel if you want to learn more about 80 percent versus 90 percent i've got a video i'll drop that in the link in the description so far where's your equipment going to be at do you have a place that's in your plans in your building plans of where that equipment is going to be located if not let's try to find a spot insulation are you going to go with foam you're going to go with standard what type of system are you going to do gas or electric how much square footage do you have? Are you going to do a upstairs area too, as well as the, the main floor? Is there gonna be a loft anywhere? Do you want a separate unit for that? Uh, where do you want your return located? Do you want it high, do you want it low? I like it low, of course, uh, easier to get to. Who's gonna do your electrical? Is it gonna be your electrical contractor or is it gonna be the HVAC company? I don't mind doing the electrical, but if I didn't include that in the price, just like the gas lines, that's going to be an added cost. So I need a wire to my outdoor unit and I need a wire to my furnace. A wire to my outdoor unit and my furnace is going to have to be dedicated circuit. I need a 20 amp circuit for my furnace. I'll need a 50 or a 60 amp circuit for my outdoor unit. So indoor and outdoor unit. Who's going to do the electrical? You may be able to ask your contractor what their per ton price is. Some contractors have a per ton price and that price could range anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000 per ton. Depends on the company, the type of work they do, the type of system that you're actually getting. If this wasn't a barn dominium and it wasn't on a slab and there was a basement, then you may have a question from your contractor like, hey, are you going to finish out the basement? Are you going to have a bunch of rooms down there? Do you want to condition the basement as well? If so, do you want to condition all of the basement or half of the basement? And that is something that you might want to think about because that can affect the size of the equipment and also the price. Want to throw this in the video, where should your thermostat be located? It should be located near your return, okay? And my return is going to be right here, so I'm going to locate my thermostat somewhere up here, probably about five foot high on the wall there. I want it near my return so that it's pulling the air back to the return, and I get a really good reading from that return air on my thermostat. Now, what you need to know about coordination and making sure that everybody is on top of their project with your house, like the HVAC, the electrical, the plumbing. Once the house is framed up, you'll wanna get the electrical and the plumbing and the HVAC done. And then you'll wanna make sure that if you are foaming, that you coordinate with your insulation company so that Right after your HVAC gets roughed in, your plumbing and your electrical, then they're coming in and they're insulating. Now you may need to get a rough in inspection from your electrical inspector before that happens so that everything that is exposed that needs to be looked at is looked at before it's concealed with all that insulation, especially foam because you don't want to have to cut a bunch of foam out. And I've had to do that. I've had contractors uh, that weren't really paying attention to the job and everything was foamed and then the contractor has to come in and cut out a bunch of the foam inside of one of the joists to run their line sets or to run their gas lines. So make sure your electrical, your plumbing, your HVAC gets done and then your insulation gets done if you're doing foam especially. This is where our outdoor unit will be, but you would not want to put a package unit here. I mean, it would take up probably a four by four or four by five foot footprint and then you'd have ductwork running up and then have a huge hole inside of your home. You just would not want that. So split system is what you want. Also keep in mind that when you go with a split system, you can have a more efficient unit because a packaged gas will only come in 80% gas. You can't actually get a package unit that's 90% gas. So with a split system, you can be more efficient. Also with package units, you can only go 16 sear. You can get two stage package gas units, but with a split system means one inside, one outside, you can actually go upwards of 20 sear. So you can get a 20 sear unit. So in sear means seasonal energy efficiency ratio, and that's how they evaluate how efficient a unit is. The higher the number, the more efficient the unit. So here's a place where you can go to learn more about SEER and saving energy. Type in AHRI and then go to this website here, ahrinet.org, and then go to the homeowners tab and you can go down here to technical definitions and terms, or you can go to save energy and seasonal energy efficiency ratio. 
So learn more about SEER right here. And then there's also a formula here to calculate your system's operating cost. If you're building a home and you need help with your project, you need somebody to help you choose the unit that you're looking at, you need somebody to help you lay out your duct work, uh, size the equipment, size the duct work, I am here to help. Click the join button, become a member, let me know in the comments, say I joined, I'll give you my email, and that'll lead to contact with me. You want my phone number, become a level four member. You want a day with me for me to go over your project, spend some time, then level five is for you. You can become my client. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you like.